Hey YouTube friends, my name is So Aldo, and today I will be showing you how to easily take in a skirt with elastic waistband. So you can finally wear that beautiful skirt hanging in your closet waiting to be altered. But before we begin, be in the know, subscribe, and be notified for more easy and free sewing tutorials. Now let's begin! First, I am going to seam rip the elastic waistband. I am simply just going to pull out the thread and remove the elastic. So this was a vintage skirt that I bought from Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. This was actually a matching separate. It has a blouse that I am also going to be altering one of these days. Then I will remove any loose threads so the waistline is nice and tidy. You can reuse the elastic but I decided to use a different one and I'm going to be using about 1 inch wide elastic. This is the time to decide whether you like the volume on the skirt or not. I decided to take in about 1 half inch on both sides of the side seams so I'm just going to taper it as you can see here I'm going to measure down 10 inches and I'm going to taper it from the waistline down to the original seam where I marked it I'm basically going to blend the seam to the original seam this is fairly easy to do just because this dress, I mean this skirt is very simple and it has six panels so I can pretty much choose uh, which seam I can take in but I decided to take it in from the side seams. By the way you guys, we are almost to 92,000 subscribers so I am super excited about that because I am planning to do a giveaway once I reach 100,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time because I am going to do a big giveaway so I am super excited to do that don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon, that little gray icon, click that and choose all. Alright, so you will get all the notification whenever I post a new video. And then I'm just going to trim off any excess fabrics on the side seams using my rotary cutter. is such a handy cutting tools when it comes to cutting lightweight fabric I will be using this new elastic this is from the brand Dritz figure out how much you need just wrap it around your waistline where you want the skirt to sit and you're just going to make it a little shorter than your waistline just because this elastic will stretch so you want it to be a little extra tight but not super tight that it's going to feel uncomfortable that will give you back pain that is going to be terrible so now i'm just going to sew this to secure it now i am going to place the elastic on the wrong side of the fabric I always like to match the seams first but basically you want to quarter the waistline so it is much easier to match and it will ensure that the elastic is going to be distributed evenly.
will be using a zigzag stitch to attach the elastic on the waistline. If you have a serger, you can do that as well, but because this is sewing projects for beginners, I decided to use my sewing machine. You can use this method without worrying if you have a serger or not. So just zigzag stitch it along the edge, just like so. And I'm also going to stretch the elastic to match the skirt as I sew. After that's done, I am going to fold the waistband like this and you want to make sure that it's super tight and there's no wrinkling on the top edge of the waistline. Then I'm going to secure it by sewing a straight stitch but I am going to stretch the elastic as I sew again all the way around. That's why I mentioned at the beginning that you want the elastic to be a little tighter because we are going to stretch it a little bit. So by that time this is finished, the skirt is probably or the elastic is probably stretched about one inch bigger than your actual waistline. So you want to make sure it's a little tighter. This is the finished project. I absolutely love it. Now the skirt is tighter. I didn't shorten the skirt just because I like the length of it paired it with a nice light sweater that I bought from the Banana Republic and the shoes were from DSW. If you would like to see more sewing projects for beginner, be in the know, subscribe and be notified for updates. I will see you soon. Bye!